Hey guys, I wanted to do a short video uh, to show you how to use Canva when uh, for using our mock-ups. Um, how to bring in the mock-up and then how to actually bring in your design to create the look that you want for uh, your Etsy shop or your Instagram or whatever you want to use it for. So um, I personally never used Canva, but it was really easy for me to use. So if this is, uh, if you're not super familiar with Photoshop, then Canva might be a good option for you. Okay, so uh, I signed in and I just logged in through Facebook, super easy. Uh, I go to Create Design, I go to Custom Dimensions, um, I make my mock-ups uh, 1500 pixels in height and I believe it's like nine, in proportion it makes it 19 and I make it 1929 width. Um, you can do whatever you want. The mock-ups you purchase from us come in at 35 by 4800, 3500 by 4800 pixels. Uh, I, I do that because I want to give you guys high quality because you're not always going to use them just for Etsy. But uh, for Etsy, I recommend your width to actually, or your height to actually be 1500. And then the width be, you know, either in proportion to that, which I believe is 2057 which it'll automatically change it to when you change the height, the height to 1500, or you can uh, crop them in more, however you want to do it. Okay, so, but for me, I'm going to whoop, do 1500 in height, and I know that my width is 1929, okay? And then create new design. Okay, so then you come in here, and these are all like just stuff that's already in here for you, but um, you wanna go to your uploads, Okay, and then upload image, and I've already pulled these out, but it, you would just find whatever folder you uh, use, you know, you keep your designs in, and your mock-ups, and then I want to click on the mock-up, okay, and then all you have to do once it's fin finished loading is click it, and it'll throw it into your canvas, okay, and then I just size it, because I know that that's the size that I want my canvas to be, okay, and then upload image, and then I'm just going to use this as my design. So you would obviously load in whatever design you were looking to use for your uh, mock-up. Okay, and then again, just click it. All right, so then right here, it already has like the little, uh, uh, I guess, guidelines, and you just size it however you want. Okay, so however you think it would look when it prints. So I wouldn't put it, you know, I wouldn't put it too high, you know, that's too high on the shirt. It's not going to print that high. So you kind of want to be, you know, a little bit aware of, think about like where it's going to, the design's going to sit on the person's body. Um, so I leave a little bit of space between uh, the bottom of the collar and your design. Okay. And then you can kind of click off it and be like, oh, you know, it's a little too big or it's a little too small or, you know, however your design is. Um, if it's a smaller design, like say it's maybe just one uh, word like this, like maybe you want to move it down a little bit. And obviously if it was one word, it'd probably be a little bit bigger. But, um, you know, you just kind of want to think about where that design is actually going to sit on the person's body and how it's going to look when it's printed because it's never going to print like this or like this or like that. It's going to be a little bit farther down. Okay. Um, and also, it, you know, you don't print like this either. Okay. That's not how it prints. Um, it's too wide. Uh, if it's going to go out to the edges like that, it means it's, it, when it's printed, if it did print like that, which it wouldn't, it would like wrap around to the sides. Okay, so these, these um, are like the seam of the shirt right here. And just think about shirts that you own or shirts that you've seen like in stores. You know, they, they don't really go the whole width of the shirt to the seam. So just be really aware of like how big or small you're making your design. You know, because sometimes people are like, Oh yeah, that looks great. And it's like, oh, it's a little too small. So um, just get a little bit more familiar with that. And um, sometimes I, I'll look at like uh, big brand names, like, and um, just kind of look at how they lay out, like where they place some of their stuff, just to kind of get an idea. And it's because it's like, obviously like a big shirt brand, like, you know, at, at like uh, Macy's or Nordstrom's or whatever, like, They've obviously been in the business for a while, and they probably have a good idea of where placement is, is good for design. So I just kind of, like, looked at that just for a guide and, you know, just to research and help myself realize, like, where stuff should be placed on a shirt. 
Okay. So, um, and then from there you go to publish and then download. And I would do a JPEG. You don't need to save it as a PNG. Um, it doesn't need to have a transparent background because um, you're loading it to, I mean, unless you want it to, but that's up to you. But usually for Etsy, you, you don't need, it doesn't need to be a JPEG. It can be a PNG. I'm sorry. It doesn't need to be a PNG. You can make it just a JPEG. Okay. And hit download. And then it just downloads wherever your pictures download me, download things. Okay. I'm not paying for Canvas, so that's going to pop up. But, um, and that is seriously it. And then, um, if you want, you can delete, you know, your image or, if you're like, oh, you know what, I don't, I think I'm going to redo it. You just click it and then hit delete and it goes away. Same with the mock-up. You can just hit delete and go away. But if you did it by accident, you can just click it again and there it is. So it's super easy to use. I was actually pretty impressed. But, um, but if you have any questions, please let me know. Okay, thanks.